Hi everyone, this is Paul J. Adam, and I see that on Twitter the Barnes & Noble's new Nook app has um, been getting talked about a lot for the new voiceover accessibility features on the latest update. So I thought I would use the new Disp Recorder app to do a um, video of voiceover in action on the Nook app. Landscape. Home button to the left. Nook. Library heading. Voiceover on. So I can swipe through all the user interface elements and voiceover will speak them correctly. Settings. Search library. All item. Recent sort. Sync. Found one item. Objective C programming. The Big Nerd Ranch Guide by Aaron Hilligas. Button. Opens book. Triple click for book details. So you see that they added some accessibility hints to this sample book that I have. And I will go ahead and open it up. Opening ebook. Ellipsis. It was nice that they sent voiceover focus to the opening ebook progress indicator so that everyone knows that the book is in the process of opening rather than just having the screen reader go blank. So, you know, I can go through all the UI elements in here as well. Voiceover. Back to library. Table of go to page. Text dot brightness. Search. Information. Remove book. Objective C programming. The bit 45 of 60. Switch page I'm on. Near the top of the left-hand panel, find a file called. So I can, you know, move my finger around the screen to get into the text of the book. Once I'm there, I can do the standard voiceover gestures to read continuously. So a two-finger swipe down should read from the current position. Near the top of the left-hand panel, find a file called main. See and click on it. If you don't see main, see, click the triangle next to the folder labeled a good start to reveal its contents figure 2.4 finding main see in the a good start group image notice that our original view with the production details changes to show the contents of main c the main c file contains a function called main a function is a list of instructions for the computer to execute and every function has a name okay just pause voice over and you see that it will continuously read onto the next page and you hear that little page turn noise to let you know I went to the next page. Well, there are some issues. For instance, I can't get focus into the slider at the bottom that lets you go through all the pages. Just put my finger on it and nothing happens. 46 of 60. I can put my finger on the page number indicator, but I can't actually switch pages here. I can use a three finger swipe to the left and right to go through the pages manually. Oops. You get into the page itself. Hint main. Comments are ignored by the computer, but we programmers use them to document code we So that's just me manually going through the pages. Uh, the rotor is available. Words, lines, hints, containers, headings, language, characters, words. Can change some of the text, text options. options. Button. Text options, size, font, button, theme, button. Now it skips over the size, all the different levels of A. Sizes. Size, button. So it says size is a button, so I have to, even though it doesn't look like a button, I guess I need to activate it. Extra small font, button. Now that I've activated size, I'm actually inside the different text size options. Selected. Small font button. Tells me which size font I've selected. Small is currently visible. Medium small font button. Medium large font. Large font. Extra large font button. So it's nice how they have good labels for all of these different sizes. Applying settings. Ellipsis. Book page. Two finger. And again, it sent focus to the progress indicator that said applying settings. Brightness button. So you can also do things like brightness adjust slider. The brightness. One hundred percent adjustable. This slider Slide up or works. Down with one finger to adjust the value. This slider works, but the page turn slider does not. So maybe they can fix that in a future update.
Double tap to dismiss button. So to dismiss this popover, you need to touch somewhere else on the screen and double tap. Book search button. Information button. Add bookmark button. And you can add bookmarks. Bookmark set to page 47. Snippet in this function. Remove 